All right, this is our math warm ups week 11. This is Monday. Number one, it says, what are the ratios? We're going to do part to part. So, how many are shaded? There are one, two, three, four that are shaded. So, I'm going to go ahead and write four, two. And then my part that's not shaded is one, two, three, four, five, six. So, four to six is my part to part. My part to whole is four, two, and then 10, because that's how many circles there are in all. And then for whole to part, I simply change the order of my numbers from 10 to four. All right, um, number two, the integer, and then we're gonna do the opposite. So the opposite of positive four is negative four. The opposite of positive nine is negative nine. The opposite of positive seven is negative seven. And then remember absolute value is just what is the distance of the integer from zero. So the absolute value of four is simply four. The absolute value of nine is nine. The absolute value of seven is seven. Okay, moving on down to number three. It says write an expression to represent four times the sum of a number and seven. So I have two operations that I'm doing. I'm doing multiplication and addition. For addition, I'm gonna add the sum of a number and seven, and then I'm gonna take that sum and multiply it by four. So essentially I would have four parentheses, a number, so I'm gonna use a, the variable x to represent a number, and then the sum of that number and seven would be four plus seven. All right, number four. For number four, once again, we're on number four, we're going to add and subtract decimals. So it's important to remember that when we're adding and subtracting decimals, we line up the decimals. So I'm gonna move this over here. So one decimal 928, and then I simply add up the digits. Whoops, that one's a little bit off. Two, eight. Okay, so I'm adding. So I start on the right and I work my way to the left. Doesn't have anything to add with the eight, so I'm gonna just put eight. Two plus seven is nine. Nine plus eight is 17. Carry the one, bring down my decimal. And then I have one plus two, which is three. Three plus one is Four. So my answer is four and 798 thousandths. Over here, I'm gonna subtract. So again, I line up my decimals. So I bring the one over here and then two and then the eight. And then I can add a zero in for that last space. I'm subtracting. Two minus zero is two. Six minus eight, can't do that. So I have to borrow from the seven. Seven becomes a six. Six becomes 16. 16 minus eight is eight. Uh, six minus two is four. Bring down my decimal and then four minus one is three. So my answer after I've subtracted is three and 482 thousandths. All right, number five. Number five, I am dividing first. So I have 6,000, whoops, 6,392. And I'm going to be dividing that by 94. Okay, so 94 goes into 639 six times, six times four is 24, and then six times nine is 54, 
plus 2 is 56. Okay, so now I'm going to subtract. 9 minus 4 is 5. 3 minus 6 I cannot do, so I have to borrow from the 6. So that becomes a 5. 3 becomes 13. 13 minus 6 is 7. So as long as the 75 is less than 94, I have started off this problem correctly. I can continue with my next digit, which is the 2. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it down. I'm going to go ahead and do 94. goes into 752. I'm going to go ahead and put 8 times. 8 times 4 is 32. Carry the 3. 8 times 9 is 72, plus 3 is 75. So when I subtract, I have nothing left over, and my answer is 68. And then for the last part of number 5, I'm going to multiply 536. And I'm going to multiply that by 492. So... I have my problem set up over here, and now I'm just going to multiply them out. And I'm going to start with the number in the ones place, which is the 2. 6 times 2 is 12. Carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. And then 2 times 5 is 10. I put my place saver. I'm all done with the 2. I move on to the 9. 9 times 6 is 54, so I put my 4, and then I carry my 5 over here. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 plus 5 is 32, so I put my 2, carry my 3, and then 9 times 5 is 45. 45 plus 3 is 48. So then I put my 48, and then I am done with a 9. I put two place savers, whoops, 1, 2, and I can move on to the 4. 4 times 6 is 24, carry my 2. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14, carry my 1. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 1 is 21. Okay, so now that I have finished multiplying it out, I am simply going to add up my answers. So right here I have 2, I have 11, carry my 1, 4 plus 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13, and then I carry my 1 over, 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. And then the 2, I'm not going to add it to anything, so I just simply bring it down. And my final answer is 263,712. Um, all right, we are all done for Monday.